Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The batch three has absolutely destroyed the market in Fever 22 Ultimate Team. Prices are going down like crazy, and I wanna talk about it with you guys today. But also, just realize that this might be the last market crash of FIFA 22. We've had a lot of market crashes this year, and they're still happening in August, but it's kind of for good reason. And I wanna talk about why also, all of the market crash, all the prices dropping right now in this game, everything that is going down like crazy, might actually be pretty good for this time of the year. It's making the cards a lot more affordable, and that is a W. So I wanna take a look at everything that happened yesterday in the game. SBCs didn't quite go as planned. We didn't get that 10 times footies batch three, SBC that we were hoping for and I want to talk about that because I think that whenever that SBC comes out it's going to be a huge very popular SBC we also had the Bundesliga objectives that were dropped yesterday I got started on those Bundesliga cup is a W the dynamic duo is a W Casemiro is a big W as well for being squad battles or rivals very very good card and SBC fodder is looking like an incredible incredible investment at this time. So we're going to take a look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new, we have to start talking about batch three though. That's where a lot of the hype and a lot of just the craziness on this game right now is centered around. It is the batch three cards that are in packs. And just as we expected, it includes mostly shapeshifter cards. A lot of team of the seasons are thrown in there. Um, but EA also included some of those lower tier special cards, like some team of the week, some future stars, some of the older ones, and even some of those like foot fantasy, just like a lot of team of the seasons were added into the batch three. And I'll show you guys what cards are in. I'll put the link down below to this in the description. If you're still wondering like what specific cards are in, this is the list right here, right? And what I want to notice is like all the shapeshifters are in packs, right? Tons of team of the season cards so many different other special cards but what we have to notice here is there are 200 yes there are 200 different special cards that are in packs right now and i don't know if any of you guys were opening packs yesterday but 82 plus player picks um you know just packs in general on this game right now are so juiced it's not even funny they are so good that it is crazy. And th realistically, this is the week that everybody was looking forward to. This is the time on FIFA inside of footies. It, it took us a few weeks to get here, right? But this is the time of the year that we were really looking forward to because we have the best of the best cards and packs. And we have so many great SBCs and so many different packs that are available too to pack all these cards. It, it's just, this is the best time of the year on FIFA. It really, really is. And what's helping that is these prices dropping realistically these shapeshifters a lot of them were very overpriced to begin with and i really hope that you guys heeded some advice and and listened earlier in the week because a lot of these guys are down horrendous i'm talking 50 60 70 percent price drop offs in the shapeshifter department specifically but you know all across the market as well because with the best cards in the game like these shapeshifters getting devalued so much it's dragging down a lot of the market with it. I have to show you this uh, Franck Ribéry card, right? 98 rated Franck Ribéry yesterday, not even yesterday, actually yes. Yesterday in the early morning, 3.7 million, 3.4 right before he entered packs. He dropped 2.4 million coins. He is right now right over 1 million coins after being added into packs. And you might be like, Nate, they didn't run lightning rounds yesterday. The pack in the store was untradeable. Uh, why in the world are prices down this much? What I think actually happened yesterday is a combination of two things. First of all, there were a lot more saved packs than I think we realized. I think a lot of people, even from like the first week, the second week of footies, had been maybe even saving some packs here or there, maybe some casual players, because they knew they were waiting for the shapeshifters to be out, right? But especially even in this past week, people that played foot champs, people that played division rivals, or champs qualifiers, or any tradable packs in general that people had, I think a lot of people ended up saving them. And I think also EA cranked up the pack weight because why would they not try to make pack weight really good at this stage of the year and make the game so much more fun when it's the summer months and they're trying to get as much fun out of the last bits of the game that they can before, of course, FIFA 23 comes in, you know, like six, seven weeks from now, right? I think that's kind of what it was yesterday. A combination of more saved up packs than we thought and 
EA definitely cranked up the pack weight. There's no, I mean, we don't know the exact details of that. We can go into the store and see that just based off the number of special cards that are in packs right now, I'm pretty sure a 50K pack gave you like a 50 or 60% chance at a team of the season player. A 45,000 coin pack right now in the store. If you take a look at this, this is pretty insane. 24% of a TOTS card in this pack the foundations pack you know the one that's the token pack that they added to the store from yesterday it's not here for me because i opened it but that token pack that was in here uh the hundred thousand coin one i'm pretty sure that had like an 85 percent drop rate for a team of the season out of that pack since it guaranteed you two 88 rated players or higher absolutely insane and we were doing player picks yesterday like you you might see that there's um you know the mendy counter if you watch the live stream right 17 out of 17 down there in the bottom I completed the Ferland Mendy SBC yesterday and I had five squads to go. But the reason I completed this is 100% because I got so much great fodder out of 25 saved player picks and just some random packs that I had saved as well. Packs right now in this game are so fun. And what I'm really looking forward to today on Saturday is the 82 plus player pick returning because I think that 82 plus player pick is like the most overpowered player pick I have ever seen on this game we were opening them yesterday and they were disgustingly good i mean we're talking tots and almost every other player pick shapeshifters are popping out of these things like it's unbelievable how good the 82 plus player pick was with all the special cards that are in packs so the number one thing i can tell you guys to do right now is buy gold rares stock your clubs get a bunch of them try to get them as low price as you can because if the 82 plus player pick or the 75 times five or both Come back out today, but specifically that 82 plus player pick, gold rares are going to go up a lot this week because like, again, I mentioned, this is the culminating week for a lot of people. These two weeks that batch three is in packs, you can see here, right? 13 days, these guys are in packs. These are like the final two weeks of full send on FIFA. Yes, there's going to be content during later on in August, right? But for right now, the best cards of the best are in packs, and that's what everybody wants to grind. So stock up on those gold rares and get your clubs ready for more player picks and more upgrade pack grind because this next, these next two weeks are going to be the best two weeks of upgrade packs for the entire year of FIFA. We have deserved to get to this point. If you're still playing, you know, it's just, it's so much fun to have the ability to do this on this game at the end of the game. So that's all that I would say there. Get your clubs ready. Stock up if you can, if you need to. That's the best way to go about it. Now, once again, I want to look at some of these price drops because a reason why this market crash is actually really good at this stage of the game as well, and I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, is a player like 99 Christian Ronaldo, he should not have been 11 million coins at this late in the game, right? There's no reason for that. He was just super duper rare and he was 99 rated Ronaldo. And, you know, his card was so good that it was so elite and so rare that it just, it wasn't affected by a lot of the other stuff that was going on in this game. People were just using this card and they weren't selling him, even with a lot of the great content that was coming out during footies. But being re-released back into packs and all the panic selling and the supply that ensues, you've got this Ronaldo card dropping back down to a price that is way more realistic. You know, a lot of the reason why these shapeshifter cards dropped off just disgusting amounts yesterday is because a lot of them were just genuinely way too expensive for their own good for this late in the game anyways. And we know one thing about FIFA 22, right? It's that the supply this year and the pack weight is absolutely insane. And everybody is packing better cards this year. Like, basically everybody has better pack luck this year because EA has definitely just cranked the weight up and that's how this market has been reacting and that's how this market has acted since the beginning of the game. Marcus Rashford from 1.3 mil all the way to 485,000 coins, down almost a million coins day over day. Crazy, right? So it's making these cards that were like unaffordable to so many people before really affordable, right? A 1.2 million coin Rashford is now 485,000 coins. Great. I have coins to go out and play with that card, right? A even on an even cheaper tier, a four three hundred and fifty thousand coin Jack Grealish card is now eighty k W. I can go out and use that card, right? There's so many examples of cards that were just really really expensive uh, for the rest of the market where it was team of the season cards being so cheap, and then shapeshifters being super expensive on some of the top tier. It was time for the market to have a big crash like this, and also. This, you know, thinking theoretically about it for a little bit, this might have been like 
the last market crash of FIFA 22 because it is late August. You know, these prices are probably just going to continue to slightly drop down over the next two weeks. I mean, think about all the great content that we have had during footy so far yet. Um, wow, look at this Kyle Walker. He has got, this is also part of the thing with the rarity of these cards. Kyle Walker has a card at 715,000 coins at 719K. And then the next card after that is 790, 785. These cards are also rare and dropping down a price at the same time. It's creating a whole bunch of opportunities for fluctuations and quick flips. But anyways, it was just time for these cards to drop off in price. And I'm glad that EA Sports crashed the market. And I think that it was honestly good for the game. If you sold cards earlier this week, you're feeling really good about it. And now you have an opportunity to go out and try these cards at way, way cheaper prices. And it's just a W all around. The only way it's not a W is if you didn't sell and now you're losing a lot of coins and you know that does suck but it's also august so ggs ea sports honestly this week the next two weeks with all these cards and packs is just going to be so much freaking fun so i want to talk a little bit more about those packs though because we didn't get one sbc yesterday that i thought we was gonna we were gonna get and that was the 10 times footies batch three pack now since the 90 plus times seven dropped last Friday. I thought that that was also going to drop yesterday on Friday, but it didn't. We got the Bundesliga campaign bag player pick. We got the footies batch three player pick, which is not really good value. We also had the Asan Playa SBC. By the way, this guy's shooting is unbelievable. Tried him out, did his SBC just to, to link him in a squad. As you guys saw, his long shots and his finishing in general are just, they're just stupid good. So I know it's not that expensive an SBC. He's also not that like crazy, like overpowered in game, but his shooting is just incredible. So I was trying him out with some long shots, put a uh, chemistry style on him to boost up that, uh, you know, agility and balance a little bit, really fun card, really cheap to do and absolutely beast. So those were our SBCs from yesterday, but that one that we were talking about in the video yesterday that we didn't actually see was the 10 times footies batch three. And I hope it comes today. EA Sports, let us have the fun, man. The repeatable 85 times 10, that needs to be on Monday. And this SBC needs to be out as well. After seeing all the packs being so overpowered, it just makes me want to rinse all of my coins into upgrade packs and to full sending this game in the next two weeks because this is gonna this is it, right? This is your last chance to pack the biggest, the best cards of the year. And I want to go all out with it. So I hope EA give us that opportunity today on Saturday by releasing this SBC pack. Now, also, I was not even expecting Asan Playa to win. Going back to this point, I was expecting Thomas Moynier to win, but evidently the rats were still hoping for some French links and everybody voted for Playa. So Playa had the most votes and he won. Now it's up to second place. Who's it gonna be? Boateng, Kevin Prince Boateng or Moynier? We'll get that SBC tomorrow on Sunday, uh, but only 100K for this is a fat W. Now let's talk about SBC fodder once again, since we're kind of on the SBC train. These cards are 100% incredible investments for me right now on the low end. And it has to be on the low end because I want to show you something about SBC fodder that happened yesterday that was really, really crazy as well. Take a look at 96 rated cards and notice how cheap they are. 96 rated Vlahovic is 30,000 coins. 30,000 coins for a guy that was 40, 49 to 50,000 coins just a couple days ago. Higher tier fodder on this game has absolutely died because of the supply on the game yesterday. 95 rated cards are 22, 23K. 94s are 18K, right? 93 cards that are, wow, 93s are 17K. You know what was 17K just a couple days ago? Like 80s, 89s, and 90s. And now those are the same price. Like all of this fodder has gotten so squashed down because of supply. You know, it's just the low tier fodder is the only place to be at the moment because everybody is packing these players and it's pushing their prices down so low. But when people go and finish SBC squads, all they have to go and do is buy 83s, 84s, maybe if an 85 or two. And that's why I really love this lower tier fodder for investing. And I think these prices that you see right here, 4.4K for trip here, like when were 84s last under 5,000 coins? I mean, even last Friday, they didn't even get this low. The last time we had 84s at 4K was like, three weeks ago. I think this is an absolutely outstanding time to go all in on fodder. Stock your club, put some on your transfer list, because this is probably the cheapest we are going to see fodder for the next few days, especially with that 10 times footies batch three, whenever that comes out, 85 times 10 is going to get really popular again, hopefully repeatable on Monday. This is a 
absolutely incredible time to get 83s, 84s, and 85s in your club. And if you want to make an investment, put a lot on your transfer list or go on a sign or whatever, be my guest because I think that this this next week of content, people are locked in on the game right now. They know that how good 82 plus player picks are going to be with all of the batch three cards and packs, with all the shapeshifters, the tots cards, everything that is in this game. People are going to want to grind the SBCs. So I think it's an absolutely incredible time to stock up on that fodder to get ahead and potentially um, you know, get some of these, these cards at cheaper prices for what they're going to be later on 4k for Trippier, Like seriously, 84 is at 4k right now is just, it's way too good of a deal. It is. So if I can give you any suggestion right now in this game, buy low tier fodder, 83s to 85s, stock your club, put some on your transfer list. You'll be getting SBCs done for cheaper, um, later on this week when they, they put out more content. And also I would say is just buy the regular gold rares like we talked about, right? Get ready for the upgrade packs. I think these are going for, they're not quite discard. They're like 750, which is pretty co close to discard, but going through and look, they're even getting bought up too. Like people are really preparing for this. So go through and, and buy up some of these cards and put them in your club because it's going to make your life a whole lot better when the 82 plus player picks come back out today, uh, when you already have these guys in your club. So whether it's on bid, whether it's on snipe, getting those for 800 coins or less is a big time W in my opinion now that's kind of the sbc in, in like obje um, not objectives but sbc's in like market realm kind of covered right there i want to talk about objectives though for just a little bit because ea did drop some w sbc con or objective content yesterday as well the casemiro card which is actually a very very highly upvoted uh, objective card on footbin four star four star casemiro he does have a really, really nice pace upgrade, 90 pace. Um, he, does, he has 90 agility, 90 bounce, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, and it's super easy to get this card done. Four separate squad battles games, three outside the box goals, five goals, assist in seven separate squad battles or rivals wins. So this is probably the best objective footies card. I, I'm going to say it. Besides Mbabu or maybe Tiago Jalo, this is up there with the best objective card that we have had yet right a lot of people are looking at this and saying i would rather do this than for Lenendi, just because this is a free card i can go play seven games and get this done and i completely understand where you're coming from much more of a defensive midfielder than mendy is but this is a really really nice objective yesterday from ea sports we had the dynamic duo as well dorgan hazard w card not five star skills they did give five star skills to julian brandt though which is a pretty nice card as well. I'm on my way to getting him done, 9 out of 15. This is kind of a fun game mode as well. The, um, what is it called? Bundesliga Breakout. It's it's a long range game mode. So goals scored from outside the box count as two, which is pretty cool. Um, and then inside the box counts as one. And then you couple that with a very nice Bundesliga Cup. Now I'm more of a fan of this Bundesliga Cup this week than the Serie A Cup last week. There is a limit of number of games you can play per day but I think it is much easier to achieve the top level to win 27, win 22 games. I think it is easier with this cup this week because it is the first two game mode. If you guys have not seen this, it's the first two game mode and you get 10 matches a day. That means you're going to be able to play 70 matches over the course of this SBC being out. If I'm doing my math correct, right? 10 matches a day, seven days, 70 matches, and you only have to win 27 of those 70 to get the top reward, which is much less than a 50% win rate, right? It's right around like 40 something, maybe even lower than that. So that's a W. And I think that's a really great grind this week as well. And it's the first two game mode. So, you know, that makes the games go by quicker and you have 10 tries. So I'm sure that game mode is gonna be a bit sweaty, but still the rewards even got upgraded too. One of four 94 plus, that's a better player pick than there was last week. The 27 win reward is a one of four 93 plus shapeshifter only. It's not tots and shapeshifter, it is shape shifter only. There's also an 85 times 10 for 22 wins. You know, there's a one of three shapeshifter. Like, I mean, these, these, these rewards are pretty good. So GG's EA Sports and the objectives killed it yesterday with those in my opinion. And again, guys, like, Right now, this game is just, it's just such in a fun place. I know that if you lost coins yesterday, it's not very fun, but with the content that could be upcoming and with the price drops that we have had, you know, you want to go out and play Weekend League with one of these brand new cards, you know, like have at it, have at it and have a fun card and use a fun card and look at Kyle Walker, right? 705K. Now, what I will say is right now as well is 
like I was just mentioning, some of these cards are pretty rare and they can fluctuate, right? Marcelo is one of those cards that's been moving a ton. This Marcelo card was, wow, he's now 1.3 mil? That's crazy. Marcelo was, yeah, he's 1.38. That's actually wild. So this guy is fluctuating so much. He was literally 1.1 million coins about an hour ago when I checked the market, and now he is 1.3. So you have these crazy fluctuations in price because these cards are still rare, but they're getting packed a lot and their prices are dropping down. So you have moments of panic selling and moments of price drops. And then you have moments of rarity where they just like spike back up, right? Hyunmin Sun Shapeshifters, 880 right now. But I just searched him at a million coins and all these cards are listed under like 950. So like these cards are just so rare. Um, let's see, what's Shapeshifter Conte? That was one. He was just like 1.93. What's he doing right now? Is he still like 1.9 mil or did he actually go up? Let me check. Conte, 1.92. It's just crazy. This market is absolutely wild. I mean, can we just take a look at some more price drop-offs from yesterday? And just, you know, sometimes when prices drop off like this, it kind of sucks for those that lost coins. But if you sold early in the week, then you can just kind of look at this in awe and be like, oh my goodness, like recognizing the amount of drop in price that happened for some of these cards on yesterday's game it's just, it's outrageous. And it's not even just shapeshifters. Like, look at team of the season Neymar, 850K. 850, he was 1.5 mil yesterday. Dropped to 900, went back up to 1.05, and then is now 860,000 coins on the market. Tots cards that are in packs again. You know, your Usman Dembele and your Alan St. Maximin. How much was Alan St. Maximin before footy started? 2.7 mil. And now look at this guy, 300K. 300,000 coins. Even yesterday, he was still 600,000 coins, went to 340, bounced back. So there's a lot of fluctuation with these cards. If you time it right, you can make a good trade. But in general, I would have to say if any of these cards you are looking to buy for your team to have in your club for an extended period of time, yes, the prices look really nice right now. And yes, it's like, oh my goodness, Nate, like, you know, these cards have dropped so much. Can I go buy it for my team? I would say there is plenty of opportunity to go and try to buy a couple of these cards for your teams. But also, I would say I think that a lot of these cards can go lower as well. And I think that some of them will go lower in the coming days over the weekend uh, just because we're going to have a lot of great content still coming in. And, you know, it's it's just it's the nature of the beast. These cards or impacts are going to continue to get supplied. So that's how I think these prices will react. One thing I want to also point out is too. notice how cheap the Ferland Mendy uh, SBC is. His SBC price has literally gone down almost a million coins like it is gone down a lot in the past day uh solely because of the high rated fodder on this game getting absolutely destroyed by all the pack weight yesterday 89 13k right and so are 93s they're 15 16 17 000 coins it is crazy so i don't see as much of a rise on these cards unless ea dropped like a really insane high rated sbc and i guess Something higher rated to me would be like an 88 rated squad or above, which some people are looking at this footy spatch 3 SBC and like, oh, Nate, wouldn't this be fun to like grind and, and to maybe do? This is a really bad value SBC. 88 rated squad. I know it's 30 chemistry and you're going to have a lot of high rated players in this. So, I mean, gamble it if you really, really want to. But like, you know, there's so many also like lower tier cards that are in this SBC that you're probably not going to end up making your money back from it. Like, even if I try to do this right now, I'm not even going to have enough players in the club because my club is mudded and I don't want to turn in too many cards that I would like to keep for other reasons. You see, my my special the special cards in my club, guys, are kind of mudded after all the craziness of yesterday and doing a lot of other SBCs. And I just turn in 82s. There's no way this is going to be 88 rated, right? There's no way. I'm going to have to figure this out on stream at some point. Yeah, see, I'm like an 85 rated. I put in Sirigu. What does that take me to? Wow, 87. All right, let me find one more special and we'll open one of these. But like, I'm going to show you that this pack right here is really, really not good value. Cancelo, Silas, El Shirawi is cheap now, right? And I don't even use him anymore. Let's let's put him in. Boom, there we go. 88 rated squad and I'm going to turn this in. This is crazy, bro. 395s I'm turning in for a gamble. It's not worth it at all, but it's August. Let's send it. And let me show you how bad this thing is. One of three footies batch three. Imagine I get something insane. 95 Oscar. So I turn in 395s to get one back. But look, I had a low tier tots and an inform in there. No shapeshifters to be in sight. So really not great value doing an SPC like that. But still, 
there's a lot of fun content that is out. If you need Bundesliga players for your team, the Bundesliga, um, I need to do La Croix, by the way, but the Bundesliga campaign player pick is not terrible either. Uh, this one's better than the other player pick. It's only an 85 rated squad. You get a top rated team of the week. Boom, easy done. So chat, guys, it's, I just called you chat, YouTube video. Viewers, it's just crazy right now. But you know what? It's fun that it's this crazy. Let me know down in the comments below what card that you had or what card that you are now looking at that you can afford because it has dropped off so cheap like in in the market because of batch three show me t talk put, put a card down in the comments that you can now afford because of all the price drops that have happened in batch three that's what i want to know what you're looking forward to i'm looking forward to trying ramos i'm looking forward to trying hyunmin's son who i actually just bought because i thought that his price was getting too cheap I mean, this guy was 1.8 million yesterday, right? I just bought him in the 860K. We'll see if this guy goes back up at all, but like absolutely crazy price drop. So I'm stoked to try out this son. I'm stoked to try out Ramos. Haven't used Walker or Rashford. I'm excited to try all these guys and hopefully pack them in the upcoming two weeks as well. So for today on Saturday, again, watch out for the player picks. Maybe a leak for a player SBC. We don't have any footies favorites, but I wouldn't expect anything like maybe... Besides the batch three times 10 pack, anything monumental today um, besides that big boy pack. Hopefully that would come though, because that would be a lot of fun. So if you did enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Again, comment down below who you're excited to play with now. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.